In this video, we'll show you how to use the Desmos graphing calculator to create an escalator where you can place a picture of a person or object to climb up and down the escalator. Let's start by looking at the step function that defines the steps of the escalator. A step function has a graph that looks like a stair step, similar to this. It is a function because it passes the vertical line test. In going from the end of one step to another, there is only one y value for this x value, which passes the vertical line test. The endpoint here is an open circle, while the endpoint here is a closed one. The rest of the graph consists of a series of parallel line segments. This first stair step in the function is part of the graph of y equals zero. If you limit the domain as shown, then you get the step. The same goes for the next step. It's a graph of y equals 1 with restrictions on the domain. And so on for the other steps. A shorthand way of writing this in function notation is to use the floor function, which encloses x within these special brackets. This is how the floor function works. For each input value of x, round down to the nearest integer. So for x values between 0 and 1, but not including 1, the output value rounds down to 0. And this creates the first step in our stair step. For x values between 1 and 2, but not including 2, the output value rounds down to 1. And this creates the second step in our stair step. If you continue in this way, you end up creating the other stair steps. Now you see why the bracket surrounding x only have the lower piece. That is the symbol for the floor value of the input. There is a corresponding ceiling function that uses a different sort of bracket. Here is the graph of it. With the ceiling function, the input value is rounded up to the next integer value. Both the ceiling and floor functions can be used to generate step functions. We'll later describe how graphing calculators like Desmos have specific function names for these functions. For now, we'll be using a floor function. To make the step function look more like a stair step, use a linear function for the diagonal. Here's a graph of y equals x. We now just need to shift the linear function horizontally by one unit. Here is the adjusted equation and updated graph. See how the graph of the linear function aligns with the step function to form a kind of staircase? Let's move to Desmos to create our escalator using these functions. To follow along, go to desmos.com backslash calculator. To graph a ceiling function, Input CEIL with X in parentheses. You'll see the step function that rounds up. To input a floor function, input FLOOR with X in parentheses. You'll see the step function that rounds down. This is the function we'll be working with. First, we'll want to restrict its graph to the first quadrant. Note the changes to the domain of the function. Next, let's graph the linear function. We now have our staircase. But how can we turn it into an escalator that moves? Well, mathematically, movement is called a translation. Let's explore translation of a function. Suppose the graph of a function, f of x, looks like this. To translate it in the positive x direction, then change the input value as shown. This will work with any function and any value for a. To translate the function in the positive y direction, then change the output value as shown. This also will work for any function and any value for a. As you can see, the combined translation looks like a stair step. We can use this idea with our Desmos graph. Change the floor function by adding a parameter, a. Create a slider for a. 
set the range for A from 0 to 15 in increments of 1 tenth. Change the values for A and you can see your escalator in action. If you press the play button next to the slider, you'll have your escalator move up and down continuously. As a final touch, let's add a picture and put it on the bottom step of the escalator. We'll be importing a clip art picture of Santa Claus, but you can use any image you want. To import the image, click on the plus sign and select image. When the image is imported, you can resize it. Don't worry about moving it to a position. We'll do that mathematically. Click on the image metadata. Look for where it says center. Change the coordinates to what you see here. This places the image of Santa right on the bottom step. Adjust the coordinates if you need to, but make sure you include the A variable for both the X and Y coordinates. Now, when you press the play on the slider, you'll see Santa go up and down the escalator. 